Police officers are there to enforce the law, but that doesn't mean they are above it. Later this month, the institution itself faces a super complaint. A number of forces are accused of handling domestic abuse cases within their own ranks badly, allowing officers to abuse their own partners without fear of arrest or prosecution. Despite it being 2019, I think there is still a boys' club culture. Jodie joined the police nine years ago and had a relationship with a senior colleague who went on to be violent. He would flash knives in my face. He would grab me from behind in a chokehold and say, I could just choke you now if I wanted to. Despite reporting him to staff, her claims were ignored for years. Sarah, a fellow trainee, was abused by the same man. He warned her against reporting him. He told me that if I told anybody, they weren't going to believe me because he'd been in the force for so long and had friends in high places. I would rather get murdered in the street than phone the police now. Both women's names have been changed to protect their identities. Their abuser was eventually found guilty of gross misconduct, but had already resigned. And their experiences are not unique. 700 women reported abuse at the hands of police in the three years leading up to April last year, with less than a quarter of them ending in disciplinary action. And out of 38 forces across the country, less than a third have ways of ensuring impartiality when dealing with domestic abuse by officers. Harriet Wistridge from the Centre for Women's Justice will lodge the complaint and hopes it will force change. And they're committing criminal offences and getting away with it. Uh, and so something uh, needs to be done to change that, to, to, provoke, to inspire more confidence, to encourage women that their complaints will be properly investigated. A super complaint like this will be dealt with by Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary and Fire and Rescue Services, along with the College of Policing and the Independent Office for Police Conduct. Now they say all allegations of domestic abuse should be treated seriously, irrespective of who the perpetrator is, and any criminal allegations against police officers should be treated in the same way as those against members of the public. But faith has been lost in that system. These women feel let down by those they worked with and those who should have protected them. And they don't want it to happen again. Lucy Watson, News at 10.